Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's go funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Our second YouTube channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Hit there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. Thank you for your support. We really do appreciate. Please continue to watch, continue subscribing, and please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. So today I'm going to be reacting to Peace TV, Dr. Zaki Naik. The Bets 2017 Amazing Two Questions What's Differences in Shia and Sunni? So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Please. Yes, Alaikum Salam. Engineer Imran, Project Manager IT. I have uh, some short question. Uh, my professor had a discussion with me and he said excuse every me, religion please, please, excuse me stop if there please. are any non-muslim who like to ask a question on any of the mics please raise your hand yes let's give the point to non-muslims first yes. they are our special guests today so give them the first opportunity Do after we? the non-muslim finish okay. we'll come back to the muslim yes brother thank you if there's any non-muslim in the queue please the volunteers request the non-muslim to come in the front they can break the queue. This is the rule of the question and session right. with Dr. Zakir Naik. Let's, let's start the with number five there, non-Muslim there. Are they non-Muslim there? All right, please. Okay, fine. If they're non-Muslim, come on the microphone. Hello? Yes, go ahead. I am Saji George. I am working with Saudi Ojar. I'd like to ask you one question. Do you believe in Holy Spirit? Thank you. Brother asked me the question, do you believe in Holy Spirit? I'll ask you, what do you mean by Holy Spirit? <laughs> the word, no, do you believe in God? I believe in God. What is the definition of God is important. If you say Holy Spirit like what the Christians believe, I say no. no. Yes. If you want to say in Archangel Gabriel, yes, I believe in him. I believe in the angels. I believe, but the Holy Spirit like the way the Christians believe, no. But the right way, if you say angel, yes, I believe in the angels. And each angel has been assigned duties by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the angels, the archangel Gabriel, who got the revelation to the messengers, who also got the revelation to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Quran. Yes, I believe in him. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. Number six, he's plead for a non-Muslim. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Deepak Mishra, and I would like to say you namaste. Uh, my question is, uh, actually, uh, I am a Hindu. And I have married a Muslim girl in India and inshallah she will be here in uh, Saudi Arabia in coming next month. You know what, when I told her that I will be going to visit uh, Dr. Zakir Nayak's speech, so she told, please don't go to him. Uh, he says bad about Shias and she's a Shia actually. So, uh, she, she told, no, don't, don't, don't go to him. And uh, her mother-in-law also told, no, please, you don't go. If you go to him, he will tell you bad about Shia and you will leave me. So, uh, that is the first doubt which I am having in my mind. And the second thing is, uh, I, have a, I have a generic question in the sense that if we say that everything is God and uh, everything belongs to God in Hindu and Muslim religion, so why... God wants everybody of us to worship Him. Why is He created us uh, in any forms of religion uh, when you talk about the creation? Why is He created us? Why He wants us to worship? Why He wants us to take so much of pains to worship Him? And why He doesn't ask animal or anybody else to worship Him? Why only human beings? Thanks. Brother, there are two questions. Before he asked the question, he told me Namaste. Brother, do you know the meaning of Namaste? No. <laughs> People say hi. And what is the meaning of hi? Even I say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The meaning is may peace, blessings, and mercy of Allah be on you. You told me namaste. I have to reply. Correct? And if I don't reply, you'll tell me what kind of a person is he. Correct? I'm asking you what is the meaning of namaste. You now see, uh, for me, Namaste is like I am saying hi to you. I am saying Assalamu Alaikum to you. But yeah, for I, you, please forgive me. If I abuse you and I tell my abuse means you are a good person, will you believe in that? If, if I see, know the if, word, if I tell Ullu, you know Ullu. <laughs> Ullu in Urdu, Hindi means owl. In English, owl means a wise person. But Ullu in Hindi means what? 
उल्लू मीन बेवकूफ बेवकूफ सो दे so the english people will think i'm praising you calling you a wise person but you know i'm calling you a fool now i know the meaning of namaste that is the reason i didn't reply yet you don't know the meaning you have told me namaste i know the meaning therefore i didn't reply the meaning of namaste is it comes from the sanskrit word idam namame meaning i bow down to you do you want to bow down to me absolutely you can bow down to the person who is having so much of knowledge that's right according to you you can bow down to a person of knowledge but according to the quran and according to islam and most of the religions you bow down to no one but almighty god you know there are many hindus after i give a talk they come and touch my feet you know what they say humne pehle baar bhagwan ka avatar khud dekha aankh se It's the first time in my life I have met God Himself personally. Hindu telling me, so I didn't see, brother. I know you respect me, you love me, appreciate that. But bowing to anyone besides God is shirk. And even in Hinduism, you should bow down to no one but Almighty God. So I'm correcting him. He's doing out of respect, out of love. But love and respect should not go overboard. If it goes overboard, it's called as shirk. Associating partner with God. There are many Hindus who come after me and they praise me so much. They put me next to God, which I said, I am not God. You can only bow down to Almighty God. What I speak and the knowledge is a gift from God. This is a gift from God. So when you see me, you should say, Masha Allah. Masha Allah means as Allah willed. Means whatever I am saying is because of the will of Almighty God. Otherwise, I was a stammerer. So that is the reason Namaste. is against islam and against actually even the hindu scriptures though some of the scholars say that idam namame it can mean that i appreciate you but the right meaning is i bow down to you in islam assalam alaikum may peace be on you you can say that any time anywhere in english we say good morning it may be raining cats and dogs they to say good morning the person may have had a fight with his wife someone says good morning has to wish back good morning He is cursing in his heart that such a morning should never come. <laughs> Yet he has to reply by "Good morning, that your fiancé, fiancé or your wife, my wife, wife. Oh, you already married her. Fine, your wife told you not to come for my lecture because I am against Shias, and yet you disobeyed her. You know, you love me so much. I appreciate that, but, but, you know why? the word shia doesn't exist in the quran see the shia sunni is not mentioned in the quran the quran says in surah imran chapter 3 verse number 103 wa tasimu bi habli llahi jamia wa la tafarraqu hold to the rope of allah strongly and be not divided we muslims should hold to the rope of allah strongly and be not divided and almighty god says in the quran in surah anam chapter number 6 verse number 159 that o prophet anyone who makes sex in the religion of islam you have nothing to do with him Allah will look after his affairs on the day of judgment. So, making sex in the religion of Islam is prohibited. So, anyone who divides the religion of Islam into sex, he is going away from Quran and Sunnah. So, tell your wife that Dr. Zakir Naik said there is nothing like Shia Sunni. Quran says, "Ati Allah, Ati Rasul." Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. What we have to do is we have to follow the Quran and the sayings, the authentic sayings of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And the only label you can give is Muslim. So I don't call myself Shia Sunni. I call myself Muslim. So you say today to your wife, I met Dr. Zakir Naik who calls himself a Muslim, and I am neither against Sunnis or neither against Shias. I tell all the Muslims, whatever name they call themselves, come back to Allah and His Rasul. Now, when I give answer, some of the Muslims who may be practicing things against the Quran and Sunnah may feel offended. So you ask your wife. Are you following something against the Quran Sunnah? If you are not, then why are you afraid of Dr. Zakir Naik? If you are, yes, you have to change and come back to Quran Sunnah. Don't follow what Zakir says. Zakir is zero in Islam. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. So tell your wife, if she is following anything against the Quran and Sahih Hadith, then she has to rectify herself. She should call herself a Muslim because the word she has no way mentioned in the Quran. But well, I do appreciate. that you love your wife but you love me also mashallah therefore i have come from my top 
Now coming to your second question, that why has God created us and why does God want us to worship Him? Why doesn't He ask the animals to worship Him? Now regarding your question, why does God want us to worship? I've already given the answer earlier. I think you came late, I don't know. That we worship God, we praise Him. People ask me, why do you say Allah Akbar? Why you have to pray to God? I said, see, in Islam, whether we pray to God or not, it makes no difference to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I say Allah Akbar, Allah is the greatest, He's already the greatest. By me saying Allah Akbar, He won't become greater. Why do we say? You know why do we say? Because when I praise anyone, whenever I call anyone great, it's a human tendency, I try and follow His commandments. So the reason we praise Allah is not so that He becomes greater. When we praise Allah, the moment we praise Him, whatever commandments He gives in the Quran, we follow it. So first we have to identify who is our Almighty God. And then what He says, we have to follow. That is the reason Muslim means a person who submits his will to Almighty God. Quran mentions in Surah Dariyat, chapter 51, verse 56, that we have created the jinn and the men not but to worship me. Almighty God has created us to worship Him. And the reason He wants us to worship Him because He has given us the criteria. This is the instruction manual for the human being. The good and bad for the human being. Now when we worship Him, when we praise Him, but naturally we have to follow His commandments. And when we follow the commandments of Almighty God, it is beneficial for us. Like for example, when you go to a doctor and the doctor gives you a prescription, do you follow his prescription or not? Yes. Yes, why? Because you're sick. He's a doctor. Similarly, Almighty God has prescribed us in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith what is good and bad for the human beings. When we praise Him, when we worship Him, but naturally we follow His commandments. If you don't believe the person is a doctor and if He gives you a prescription, will you follow it? No. So when you appreciate the doctor, you will follow His prescription. That's the reason we praise Almighty God and we worship Him so that we can be good practicing human beings. You ask the question, why don't the animals worship him? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that in Islam, all the other creations, except for the human beings and the jinn, they have a free will. All the other creations, they don't have a free will. The angels don't have a free will. The animals don't have a free will. All of them, they worship Almighty God. The animals, the trees, the mountains, all of them, they worship Almighty God. They are called as Muslims in Arabic. The jinn and the human beings, Almighty God has given us a free will. We can either follow Him or disobey Him. Now, Almighty God created us because it's mentioned in the Quran that the best creation of Almighty God is the human being. Besides our form and our body and the intelligence, He has given us a free will. We can either obey Him or disobey Him. Now, after He's given us a free will, He wants to analyze whether do we obey Him or not. All the other creatures like animals, trees, they have no free will. So it's nothing great that they worship Almighty God. It's good, Alhamdulillah. But after a free will has been given to the human beings, as the Quran says in Surah Mulk, chapter number 6 and verse number 2, Allah It's Allah who has given you death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this life is a test for us for the hereafter. So after the free will has been given to us, you can either worship Him or not worship Him. If you worship Him, then you're following the commandment of God. You can have alcohol, you cannot have alcohol. If you don't have alcohol, then you're following His commandment. So in this way, Almighty God has given you the do's and don'ts. Very few. The remaining thing, everything is optional on you. So these few do's and don'ts, if you take care of it, you are following the commandments, you're worshipping Him, and you will pass this test. This life is a test for the hereafter. Hope that answers the question, brother. Thank you. How do we actually prove that animals do actually praise God? That's something I'd love to know. Um, concerning the issue of the Shia and Sunni, I love how diplomatic Dr. Zaki Naik was. Because at the end of the day, he's a person of big influence. So whatever he says may influence someone to take some sort of action. And I love that he said anyone that goes beyond whatever it is to create sects, then there should be an issue there. Everyone should be classified as one 
Muslims. But then I feel like this raises many issues because when whoever from whichever two of these sects does something, sects does something, um, Muslims have been tainted in the process. That's why if there's some bombing somewhere, people will say Muslims. That's why if there's some, um, whatever it is, whatever atrocity is committed there by anyone from the two groups does something, Muslims will be blamed, uh, which is unfair. Otherwise, I just love the fact that there shouldn't be any sects. People should be united under one title, which is Muslims. And that's it. Nothing more. Just simple and clean. No complications and life should move on like that i wish other people thought like that i wish other people could actually um come together and say you know what other sects know but what this and that's all that matters um so yeah what do you guys have to say if there's anything you want to contribute let me know down below in the comment section below if you want me to react to something drop the name or the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to eat make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video